it's been an interesting contemplation to think into this this place of innocence and a couple of the things that I really um, recognized was that when I was young, I was in very I was very in touch with the witness. That was the part of me that could have the experience and be witnessing it, be curious about, oh, wow, check that out. It's not wise to run full speed downhill. It's not wise to do this, but to to simply be a witness to my human experience. And then as I, I noticed as I got older, that that changed. You know, even Jesus invites people to come unto him as little children. That means to let go of what we think we know. To come with a heart that is open, to come with a mind that is open, to be curious, to be loving, to be innocent, and to be willing to be held. That means we'd have to let go of all the little things that we hang on to, like what other people think of us. When was the last time you heard a toddler in a onesie say, does this make my look, butt look big, you know? It's like, they don't have those thoughts, right? They're not, they're not looking at themselves through everybody else's eyes. They're just being, they're just being in the now, open-hearted. It's really sad to see, have you, you guys ever noticed this with kids is like the moment that they lose trust, you know? I've seen that in the kids that I love. You know, those, those awkward times in, in their life, depending on what their experience is, when they lose trust in the, the adults around them, when they lose trust in life, when they lose trust in themselves. This is a call for remembrance. One of the things I uh, saw it when I was looking into Fitra, And in the Muslim religion, it is for, they're talking about fitra and they're talking about how they like to refer to people like, you know, because people convert, right? We, we go along a path and we actually have a choice. It's like, is this path really fit me or do I want to explore this path? And so in, in Islam, when people, you know, decide they're going to take on that religion as a, as a way of life, as a philosophy, they say it's uh, they're they're reverting instead of converting. I like that. The word convert mm, has ominous tones. You can see all the pain that's been put on people when we try to convert them into our way of thinking, our way of believing. Like this is the right way to see God. This is the right way to see yourself. This is the right way to believe, to practice, to pray, whatever. Let's revert. <laughs> let's revert. And let's also hold that space for, for the people in our lives to revert, to remember that they are innocent, to remember that they are holy, to remember that they are beautiful, that they are divine, they are whole and they are perfect. They are an angel in human form. When we do that, cool stuff happens. Magic stuff happens. There is a greater way that we can work together and fit together when we really revert, really remember, and we encourage the people that are with us to remember. And we can only do that through seeing them truly.